showing you guys a full day eating while I work. And this is how I start my day. So I start my day with the workout um, and I also drink about a full one of these, maybe one and a half. So this is 32 ounces, four cups of water. I try to do a gallon a day. Um, and I also am doing intermittent fasting. If you don't know what that is, look it up. So essentially I don't eat for 16 hours a day and I eat eight hours. I start eating around 12 o'clock and then end around 8 p.m. So I'm gonna get in a bicep workout and then show you guys what I'm eating for today. So that was the antibody alien five minute dumbbell workout for bicep. I'm doing triceps as well, so I got three more of these videos to do. I will see you guys for the rest of the video.
it is the end of the day and disclaimer the reason why i'm still in the same clothes from this morning from working out is one i didn't slept that much two i was rushing i didn't time it out like i should have and i had to get clocked into work get everything set up before i actually had to start because i, I basically had trained people to take calls for a call center but i know you're probably thinking ain't she funky didn't she just work out in that same clothes listen i get it if i sweat a lot and if i'm like really really drenched then i will take a shower i will change um but today i didn't have time i wasn't drenched i was fine i literally dried up before class even started so but i am going to take a shower right after i finish filming this clip so opening up my fit pro or my fit track fit so opening up my fit track pro app this is the app that um attaches to the dar scale gives you all your measurements so last week august 30th i was 238.1 so i'm back <laughs> i don't know what my body's going through but it's it's yo-yoing between the 240 two and 238 and um that's all right though that is okay because that is still taking into account that i have more muscles my muscle rate has stayed about the same um everything has pretty much stayed about the same other than my weight obviously i went back down so so overall i am seeing a lot of progress in general not just with my weight but with my water intake because when I first did this on the 23rd um, my body water was 38% and now it is 39% so a whole percentage one point up so that, that which is awesome right because that means I am obviously drinking more water which is great and because I'm drinking more water I'm able to flush everything out and continue to lose weight and I really want to get to the point where I'm in the good body water um, standing because that's important um, everything else though is pretty much the same my visceral fat went down from 19 to 18 that's good I haven't lost any muscle mass so I just I really want to um, continue to go in the way that I'm going. I think that my mindset is really, really good this go around other than the last um, weight loss journeys that I've tried because beforehand I was really vain. I was really thinking about my looks. I was really thinking about, okay, I need to weigh this amount by this date versus looking at the other factors. Am I getting stronger? Am I eating healthier? Am I drinking more water? Is my skin getting better? All of those things, right? Um, I'm eating more healthier, I'm making more healthy choices. I'm drinking nothing but water. When I tell you nothing but water, the occasional uh, Red Bull, if I get it from the store, but water and then mixed with my pre-workout, other than my shakes, but no, no juice, which was like my thing. Um, and I'm making sure that I drink enough water throughout the day. I mean, my skin, it, it has its days but um that just comes with more eating healthy more water you know it has to get all the toxins out so overall i think i'm doing pretty good now also uh, with today's full day of eating i just wanted to show you guys a realistic day of me eating while at work i am working from home which i have been doing for the past couple of months due to you know pandemic and everything I'm very very grateful that i still get to do that because i know a lot of people weren't given the opportunity so very grateful um and it also is helping me with my weight loss journey because i'm at home i don't have any excuse to eat healthy i don't have an excuse to say oh well i'm at work i only got 30 minutes for lunch so i have to go across the street and grab a burger from mcdonald's or i have to go across the street and grab a taco from taco bell because i woke up at 5 a.m. just to get here at 6 a.m. so I didn't have time to make my lunch and I get off late right so when I get home I don't want to do anything to make lunch to make lunch for the next day so being at home I don't have that excuse right I'm at home it's actually more inconvenient for me to go out somewhere to get food 
it's spending more money to get food delivered, right? And I still do have a 30 minute lunch, but I can go to the fridge that's right there, cook something really quickly. I can prep the night before because I'm already at home when I get off. So it really has set me up for success. I don't have any excuses with my nutrition when it comes to time restraints. Um, so as long as I'm my fridge, my cabinets are full of good food, I'm eating good, which I have been. And also, I don't, um, I try not to focus on macros. Calorie counting, yes. Macros, no. So you probably won't ever see me get too into fats, protein, and um, carbs other than this app telling me that I need to get more protein in. That's it. Because I'm not trying to be someone who's obsessed with health. Like, to the point where it's taking over my thoughts. Example, I don't want to have to get a plate of food and think about, okay, am I meeting my macros with this plate of food? Like, I don't want to do that. I do want to get a plate of food and say, okay, this is a nice portion size for me to eat. I'm good. That's, that's about all the thinking that I want to do, right? I want to get to the point where I don't have to count my uh, calories, which I have been doing pretty, pretty good, which has been helping me. So um, again, this is just a realistic day. I'm sorry if it isn't like the other full days of eating where they have the macros and the calories to the T and they say, oh, I have to meet this by the day, this, this amount of protein and fat and carbs by the end of the day. And if I don't, I have to add this on and it's like, no, this is not what it's gonna be because most people aren't like that. Most people work a nine to five, just like me with regular food in the kitchen, with regular, break some lunches, right? So um, I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to still eat healthy while you're busy and not have to overthink it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am enjoying this journey and this um, documentation of it. I don't know, it's really, really exciting to me. So I'll see you guys in the next video.